And this morning, we're learning the Israel military has dismissed two officers and reprimanded three others over that deadly drone strike that killed seven aid workers. They say the officers involved mishandled critical information and violated the Army's rules of engagement. Our Chris Holmstrom joins us now with the very latest on this. Chris. Yeah, these are some pretty big developments this morning. Good morning, you two. Uh, so the move comes just the day after President Joe Biden and Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke for the first time since the deadly incident. President Biden issued an ultimatum during that phone call, warning Netanyahu to do more to protect civilians or face a shift in U.S. policy. Also, that call included a request to get more humanitarian aid into Gaza. Overnight, the Israeli government approved three new humanitarian corridors into Gaza. The move, CBS News has learned, was a specific request by President Biden during his high-stakes phone call Thursday with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The White House says during the roughly 30-minute conversation that the president made, quote, clear that the U.S. policy with respect to Gaza hinges on Israel's immediate action to better protect civilians. The president also called for an immediate ceasefire. If there are not changes to their approach, um, it is very likely we're going to change our approach. The aid routes include a reopening at the Erez crossing in northern Gaza, which has been closed since the beginning of the war, temporary use of port, and expanding the flow of aid trucks at the border with Jordan. These are positive developments, but the real test is results, and that's what we're looking to see. This all comes after a horrific Israeli airstrike killed seven aid workers with World Central Kitchen earlier this week. The group, including a dual Canadian-American citizen, was driving in a safe zone in marked vehicles. In its report released this morning, the IDF says its forces mistakenly believe Hamas gunmen were in the vehicles, which they did not associate with the aid organization. Two officers will be dismissed after the strikes Israel called a serious violation of its procedures. And in a statement, the World Central Kitchen calls the Israeli investigation an important step, but says there needs to be systematic change. But as for whether or not there'll be a ceasefire at this point, that is still unknown. But for right now, uh, definitely not the case. Yeah. All right, Chris, thank you. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.